In this module, we will talk about the objectives of uh, social casework. We see that uh, this is uh, the most important objective of social casework is to make a good rapport with the common people, uh, which means that a social caseworker should be well connected uh, uh, with his or her surrounding and uh, with the society, with the community people. In this way, the social caseworker are, uh, uh, will be knowing about that what kind of uh, welfare services uh, are rendering by different institutions and what kind of the welfare institutions are working within the community and uh, what kind of uh, the human resource is available uh, uh, in, in the surrounding uh, from where the help can be sought to provide relief to the individuals. Uh, An other important objective of uh, social casework is to find out uh, and uh, to understand uh, the internal problems of an individual, uh, which means that what kind of the hidden qualities are present within the individual uh, and uh, what kind of uh, uh, the hidden capacities uh, the individual has, uh, which can be utilized uh, uh, in the social casework. Uh, process and uh, because a caseworker when is going to uh, pro uh, is going to help the individual and uh, in the social casework intervention it is important to understand the individual uh, completely uh, because uh, in in social casework process uh, uh, the uh, it, it is important to to, uh, to make the individual uh, an active participant in the whole process and to use the talent and potential of the individual to maximum extent. And uh, uh, another important is to uh, strengthen one's ego power, which means uh, that the self-esteem of the client should not be heard and the ego power of uh, the client must be strengthened through the intervention of social case work and in the whole process, the client should not feel that uh, um, uh, the uh, worker is dominating the process or is uh, all the decisions are taken by the uh, caseworker, or, or rather uh, the client is uh, involved uh, in the whole process. And the decision should be taken about the solution of the problem by the client himself or herself. Another is important uh, uh, objective of uh, social case work is to prevent the problem uh, because uh, um, uh, sometimes the solution can be offered by the case worker, but this is important and the basic uh, uh, objective of the, uh, of the case work uh, process uh, that this problem should not happen again and uh, the individual uh, should be able to solve the problem uh, himself or hum uh, herself and the occurrence of the problem in the coming future should be stopped. And this is only possible if the individual is trained to, uh, to, is trained to stop the problem and uh, should not be indulged in the same kind of uh, this, uh, situation which is hurting the social functioning of the individual. Another important uh, objective of uh, social casework is to develop internal resources. It is the fundamental belief of social casework process that uh, uh, every individual has a lot of internal resources and every individual is talented enough to, uh, to prevent the problem, to cope uh, with the problem and to uh, resolve the problem. So uh, the caseworker tries to develop the internal resources uh, among the individual. Uh, another important point, uh, objective of social casework, uh, uh, that is to prevent the social breakdown. Uh, it is said that every individual is the fundamental unit of the society and the building of the society is constructed on the bricks of the individuals. So uh, if the individuals are suffering from uh, any unrest or any disturbed situation, uh, it is uh, likely to happen the whole social breakdown. So it is important 
and the main objective of social case work is to prevent the social breakdown by uh, developing the inner qualities among the individuals and by enhancing the capacities of the individuals to stop the social breakdown in the society. Uh, and uh, 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 likewise, another important objective of social casework is to conserve and preserve the client's strength, which means that uh, uh, when, when the individual who is said to be the client in the process of social case work is uh, is suffering from any uh, disturbed social situation in his uh, life he or she is uh, the client is uh, consuming his or her energies in coming out of this problem instead of uh, instead of consuming these energies uh, in a healthy manner for and to contribute in the social functioning of the society so, so social case worker tries to preserve the client strength which can be used for the well-being of the society and for the well-being of the individual himself or herself so the social case work uh, intervention uh, aims to preserve the client's strength uh, we should not be used negatively rather for uh, positively for the uh, social construction and the social organization within the society another important objective is to restore the social functioning uh, obviously when the individuals of the society will be mentally psychologically and emotionally uh, healthy the whole uh, they will be uh, they will be more contributing towards the social functioning of the society in a more healthy manner so uh, it's uh, important objective of the social case work is to restore the social functioning the social order and social organization within the society um, and similarly uh, it said another objective which is uh, uh, the uh, to provide the happy experiences to the client which means uh, when the when uh, the client is uh, given the opportunity to use his or her potential to maximum extent uh, 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 within uh, his or her surrounding and to use his talent to uh, full extent so uh, the individual or the client will be happy will be having the happy experiences and uh, will experience a very uh, a good uh, um, uh, uh, very good experience in their life and uh, uh, they will be having the full opportunities uh, to uh, utilize the community resources for their own benefit and for the benefit of the community uh, so uh, this will lead to another objective is to which is to create opportunities for growth and development uh, basically this is the fundamental belief of social case work that uh, the development of the society is not possible if uh, the chances and the opportunities for growth are not given to the individuals so uh, the case work intervention uh, provides the opportunity to the individual uh, for growth and development which ultimately uh, leads to leads towards the development of the society as a whole another objective of social case work is to compensate the psychological damage whenever a client or an individual suffers from a disturbed social situation and uncomfortable social circumstances uh, they uh, they face the psychological damage so social case worker tries to repair this damage and uh, tries to uh, remove this psychological damage from the client's personality by using the certain techniques approaches and principles of social uh, case work uh, so the clients uh, so the client can uh, can recope with the life again uh, another important objective of social case work is to increase capacity for uh, self direction this is very important objective of the social case work which means this case a work intervention uh, 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 creates 
a self determination in the individual uh, a, f- a feeling of uh, uh, of self reliance because uh, it, it doesn't mean that uh, if the help and the support is provided to the individual which means to make the individual dependent and uh, uh, and um, the parasite on the help of the case worker uh, or the case work agency rather uh, a self direction uh, it is uh, tried to it is uh, tried to uh, create a self direction in the individual so they can take their decision themselves in the in the coming future similarly uh, when these steps are followed and these uh, uh aspects are covered in social case work intervention it increases uh, the social contribution of the individuals in the society